Greetings and welcome to this quick Honey Optics how-to. Imagine you want to set up a live streaming system or perhaps you've already got one camera and you want to expand and you wonder what's the best way to do it. Well, there is in fact a right answer or at least a standard answer. If you're able to do everything that you can do, say your budget allows it, um, the standard answer for how to do live streaming right is actually the three camera system. The three camera system was actually pioneered by Desi Arnaz, um, of all people. Yes, of I Love Lucy, Desi Arnaz. I Love Lucy was actually one of the first shows um, to be recorded uh, with a multi-camera setup. And they used three cameras um, in pretty set locations. And today you will still find this three camera setup um, as sort of the standard way uh, to go about it. How this usually works um, is you've got one camera located pretty much in the middle, um, getting a front end shot, basically giving you a full shot um, straight on. Uh, and then you have two additional cameras, one on each side, one usually providing more of a close up and one providing a little bit further away. Um, that gives you a good mix of things to mix between. It also gives you a way, if you don't have a regular camera operator, to set those three cameras up kind of with three fixed shots um, and then move between them, which gives you variety switching between them uh, without actually having somebody to move the camera around. Of course, if you're going to invest in PTZ cameras, hopefully you want to PTZ them. Um, and uh, the other option that this lets you have when you have the multi-camera setup is to allow um, for the camera that is being moved not to be the camera that is currently broadcast. It's certainly possible to articulate a PTZ while you're broadcasting from it. Um, it is sometimes hard to do that in a way that is smooth and isn't jarring. And of course, in a worship setting, um, you want to avoid that. In a business meeting or something else, there's probably a little bit more grace for it, um, but you're better off if you can to show one camera angle uh, that isn't moving and then re-articulate the other two into where you want them and then switch to those. Adds a little bit of complication to it, um, but it is a nice way to do it. If you don't have the ability to have three cameras set up, say you got two, um, then the standard way to do it would be to have that, again, that one kind of down the middle uh, shot uh, and then the one off to the side. Um, and just, you know, pick whichever one makes the most sense for where you are. Uh, you do kind of want to bring those kind of far forward. Um, so you really are getting a different angle on things um, than the back one. Another note uh, about where to position your cameras. Now, if you've spent a good bit of money um, on a camera, then chances are you want to put it somewhere safe. You want to put it out of the way. Um, people are tempted to mount them really up high. Um, I've seen them up in balconies uh, and things like that. And while I get where that comes from, uh, it's actually really non-ideal. You gotta remember that the camera is going to become the eyes of the people um, who are watching your service. Uh, and if it's up in a kind of unnatural position, if it's looking from a perspective that most people would never look from, like say, looking down um, on a whole crowd of people, um, that actually can be disorienting um, and, and sometimes even worse than that. Um, if you get really kind of the over the top uh, down angle um, off the balcony, it can almost become vertigo uh, inducing. So you want to keep the angle as natural as you can. So of course you're going to want to get your camera up above everybody's heads. So they're not blocking it. Um, and of course, you know, or running into it, but you want to keep it also so as low as you can, so as much as possible, it is a natural and comfortable viewing angle uh, for your people at home. So if you're thinking about diagramming out um, how to do this and you want a pretty uh, complete but, but not um, overly complicated setup, consider the three camera system, one mounted in the back with a nice straight shot down the middle, um, two on either side, um, one giving you a little further shot, 
one giving you um, a little bit of a closer shot, um, and then you're gonna have a really nice robust setup that lets you switch between things, keep the camera angles interesting while things are going on, um, and giving you a variety of ways to capture the scene. All right, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Please check out our YouTube channel for other things, and of course, check out Honey Optics uh, for all of your camera needs. Thank you.